First, the student reads a text orally. You start by reading the standardized introduction in a conversational way to the student. This is an obituary of Coretta Scott King. Read to learn about the important things she did in her lifetime. Okay. This standardized introduction is important because it assures that every student assessed receives the same information. While the student is reading, observe and code the reading behaviors, including errors and repetitions. Civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr. died Monday night in Mexico at the age of... The student reads the first part orally and then finishes reading silently. King encouraged okay. African Americans... Actually, I'd like you to continue reading silently. Okay. During this time, you can finish your coding and analyzing. You can also score the reader's fluency. After the student has finished the oral reading, calculate the accuracy rate. This is important because it will give you the first indicator of whether the text is easy, just right for instruction, or too hard for the reader. Use the fluency scale to assess how the reader uses phrasing, pausing, intonation, and word stress. Mrs. Reading rate is also a factor here, but remember that the reading should be neither too slow nor too fast. After the student finishes reading, engage the student in a comprehension conversation. The conversation is an open-ended invitation to talk. On the recording form, you will find a chart of key understandings or important ideas that the reader should have gleaned from within, beyond, and about the text. In this story, this young girl um, uh, wanted to go to a camp out on, for summer vacation, but they, but they, um, their dad wanted them to go to Thailand to help with the relief of the tsunami that happened in 2004. I think that's really the turning point when she had known that the people had lost a lot and that they could never get it back, and that's why she, um, understood how they felt. In the comprehension conversation, invite natural talk and use open-ended probes such as, can you say more about that? Can you tell me how? Because she learned... Many students are not accustomed to expressing their thinking without teacher questions, but the goal of this comprehension conversation is to draw out students' ideas with as little leading as possible. You can check off the key understandings they express in their own words in the first column on the recording form. However, if they do not spontaneously offer evidence of a key understanding, we cannot assume they don't have it. Sometimes, you need to probe for evidence of understanding. In the second column on the recording form, you will find prompts and questions to help you elicit key understandings. As much as possible, use these prompts and questions in a conversational way rather than interrogating the student. Rephrase questions to be sure that the reader understands. Why would that make people want the nest taken down? They wanted to take it down. Score the comprehension conversation by thinking about each area. Use the rubric to make a decision. Score 0 to 3 to rate overall the reader's thinking within the text, 0 to 3 for thinking beyond the text, and 0 to 3 for thinking about the text. You can score one additional point if the reader demonstrates some unusual thinking that is excellent, but not listed in the key understandings, so the highest score will be 10. A writing prompt is provided on the recording form for each text. Writing is optional, but it will provide more evidence about a student's comprehension, and you will learn how the student responds to a text in writing, which is often required on tests.